like you really don't walk, like run into frescoes very often, let alone in the middle of Maine. It's definitely like a diamond in the rough. Students in Professor Veronique Plesch's class at Colby College have spent the fall semester researching everything they can about the South Solon Meeting House frescoes so they could create a website about the art. Our connection to it is really just, I think, giving it the attention it deserves. Each student was tasked with studying one fresco inside the meeting house, art that was created by another group of students in the 50s at the nearby Skowhegan School of Painting and Sculpture. I am working on the fresco on the ceiling and my the artist that painted that was Edwin Brooks and he's the only artist that is not affiliated with the school. The class also spent time looking at several websites to get ideas on how their website about the frescoes should look and creating biographies on the individual artists. We've done all kind of different things. Uh, we've had several class meetings that were really about getting the background. We visited the Skowhegan School. We got a tour from the, one of the, the co-directors. We talked with one of the, um, the artists who's still surviving. Professor Plesch says creating the website was an amazing learning experience for her students and an even better community service project to benefit the South Solon Meeting House. You can use it before a visit, you can use it during a visit, you can use it instead of a visit, you can use it after a visit if you want to kind of learn more. Professor Plesch says the website should be up and running by the end of the year. In Waterville, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC7 and Fox 22.